Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen and in today's video I am going to be sharing my first knitting podcast episode. So I am very excited. I sew as well and I recently learned how to knit and I've been loving it. So if you like sewing and knitting, please check out my channel and subscribe for more videos like it. All right, let's go ahead and get on with it. All right, following the pattern that I've seen in other knitting podcast episodes, I'm going to start with finished objects, and I have two. They are both petite knit patterns, and this first one is the novice sweater. It's this nice, like, light, kind of dusty pink. Um, it is a Lion brand, uh, I think Wool Ease yarn from Michaels. And I just wanted to get something kind of inexpensive um, since this, it was my first project. But um, I learned a lot and I made some mistakes, but that's okay. I've actually worn this more than I thought that I would. Um, I knit it in a size large and it's a little bit big for my preference. So I think and if, if I were to make this again, which I do want to because it's a great, just basic sweater, um, I will knit it in a medium. My bust is a 38-ish uh, for reference, and I'm 5'9". So, yeah, this is a great little sweater. Um, definitely not the most comfortable with the acrylic and the wool, um, or that blend. So I wear it with like a t-shirt underneath. But that's okay. Um, I still get a lot of good wear out of it. All right, next is the Stockholm slipover. Um, it's it. I made it in this gray, and I knit this in um, Amana by Warmy yarn. It is it's, okay. It's seventy percent baby alpaca and thirty percent merino, and it's a really I really like it. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with different fibers, so I don't really know if I can <laughs> really sh give a good opinion, but um, yeah, so I finished it and I even redid some of the ribbing because it wasn't as long as I wanted it. And I tried it on, and I haven't blocked it yet, um, but it's like bigger than I want it to be. Um, kind of I don't know, it, it has a lot of ease and more than I would expect it to from looking at the different like pattern pictures and folks that have made it. Um, so I don't really know. I am a tight knitter and I think a lot of new knitters are. Um, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. But I'm a little bit torn whether or not to rip it out and knit it in a size down, like a size small. So I knit this in a medium. Um, so to take it out and re-knit it in a small, or if I should go ahead and block it and see what happens. I don't know. If you block yarn, can then can you re-knit it? I don't know. I might I might block it and see if I like it better. Um, anyway, if you have any suggestions. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment because I'm stumped. All right, moving on to the next section, which is works in progress or whips. I'm going to start off with these socks. It's very bright and fun. <laughs> um, my friend dyes yarn, and um, I bought this sock set um, on her, I think it was her first like collection, I'll link her website below. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. Anyway, um, but yeah, I just thought it was it was fun, and um, yeah, knitting socks is different. <laughs> um, I haven't picked these this up in a while, so I need to pick it back up and make some progress because. I've got a little ways to go. Um, anyway, those are the socks, and I'm using the, I think, vanilla socks. 
pattern by Volumbine. I will link it below. I believe that's that's the pattern I'm using though. Okay, next up I am knitting the Novice Cardigan Chunky Edition by Petite Knit in this nice like seafoam color. Um, it's a another line brand's um, I think like thick and quick or something like that. I'll link it below as well um, from Michaels again. And I wanted to again knit with something a little bit less expensive so I can get some practice in um, before I buy expensive yarn um, or nicer quality yarn. But um, I've been making some decent progress on this. It's kind of all bunched up on the needles, but um, I think I have one more set of, or one more round of increases to do. I've done three already. Um, so yeah. All right, next up is a crochet project. Um, and I'm crocheting a temperature blanket. I have not picked this up in a while <laughs> also. Um, Okay, minor panic. Um, I'm doing a kind of like blue, cool tone colorway. I think I'm through like the 13th or so of January and it's like the 27th now. So I really need to catch up. Um, but yeah, it's been fun to do something different than knitting or sewing. Um, so I've been enjoying that. Also, sorry if I keep looking. I'm looking at the viewfinder, trying to look at the camera, but I forget. <laughs> um, anyway, this is kind of a fun, different project that um, I can pick up whenever. I need to um, keep track of the weather a little bit better um, so that I know which colors that I'm going to be needing to use. But I'm using um, the Lion Brand Basic Stitch Acrylic Yarn. Um, from any major craft store, but yeah, it's uh, it's been fun to do. Um, so I believe those are all my whips. Okay, so those are all my works in progress. So next, I believe is acquisitions, but I haven't bought any yarn, so I'm just gonna skip that. Um, but I will share a um, future plan or future cast on. Um, let me go get it. Alright. Okay, so I picked up this Bamboo Pop from Universal Yarn. Gosh, you can't even see that. Why is it not focusing? I'm struggling. Um, anyway, I'll insert a picture if it's blurry, but it is a 50% cotton, 50% bamboo, um, and it is a size 3, um, which I think is similar to, like, sock weight? I'm not sure. Um, but I am planning to make the April cardigan from, again, Petite Knit, <laughs> um, and I want it to be, like, a summer weight. I live in North Carolina, so um, the summers are hot, but um, you know we have those transition periods where it's like 40 degrees in the morning or 50 degrees, and then it's like 80 in the afternoon. So I want this to be like a transitional piece. Um, I have not cast that on yet, obviously, um, and I'm not really in a rush to, although I probably should be because it'll be spring before we know it. Um, so yeah, that is, that's it really. I, I also have plans to knit my fiance a, a hat. I'll probably do the Oslo hat by Petite Knit. <laughs> I sound like a Petite Knit, I don't know, but I, I just like her patterns. Um, and I'm, I am exploring other patterns on Ravelry, so it won't always be Petite Knit. But anyway, um, so the Oslo hat, Probably in, um, I know he wants it to be black, so I'm not really sure what yarn I'm going to use yet, but 
Um, and then I'm getting married in uh, October, so I want to make a um, some sort of like little cardigan. Um, maybe the I think Petite Knit has the April cardigan in a mohair, like the mohair edition. So I might do that because I want it to be, you know, very very like light and you know feminine to just put over my dress because we're getting married outside. It's a very like chill uh, ceremony, so. I'm not too worried about it taking away from my dress, but um, just in case it's cold in the mountains in October, <laughs> um, I want to have something and just to have as like a keepsake. Um, so yeah, that really wraps it up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this knitting podcast and I am excited to do more. I'll probably make this a monthly thing. Um, just because I have like sewing stuff and then just general life. Um, I'm trying to do, I'm really trying to, to be consistent with uh, posting videos. So I'm, I'm hoping for two a month, um, just videos in general. Maybe, maybe that'll work like one sewing and one knitting. But um, anyway, I am, yeah. Thank you for watching this video and listening to my rambling, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.